Welcome to the Oregon Department of Forestry. I'm Christine Buell, forest entomologist with the Forest Health Program. In this video, we'll be discussing insects, specifically bark beetles. Our Forest Health Program consists of me, the entomologist, our forest pathologist who looks at tree diseases, our invasive species specialist who looks at non-native plants and insects, and our aerial survey specialist. In Oregon, we have several different types of damaging bark beetles. One of these is the Western Pine Beetle. And this beetle typically attacks large diameter ponderosa pine. Diagnostic features of this insect include small pitch tubes and flaking from woodpeckers. Woodpeckers typically will flake off the bark, getting at the grubs underneath the bark. And you can see the patches where that flaking has occurred on the trunk of the tree that are typically lighter in color. To determine if western pine beetle has actually attacked a tree, you'll want to peel back the bark. This can be difficult, sometimes it's stuck to the tree. The gallery has no defined pattern, it just meanders and looks like a pile of spaghetti. This is an example of a western pine beetle gallery, which can be confused with that of a secondary pest, which is a wood borer. Differences are that the exit holes from the bark beetle gallery are very small relative to the exit holes of the wood borer, which are oval and very large. Mountain pine beetle is one of our most damaging bark beetle pests. This insect has caused significant damage across many pine forests in the West. Mountain pine beetles prefer to attack dense stands of pine, like the one you see behind me. The best way to prevent the risk of attack is by thinning your stand. I'm holding a portion of a mountain pine beetle gallery. Here is the main channel of one gallery with side channels, and here's the main channel of another gallery. What's distinctive about the mountain pine beetle gallery is at the bottom there's a crook at the end, or a J. Ips are a type of bark beetle. Two of our major Ips pests are the California five-spined and pine engraver. These insects tend to attack small diameter pine of any species. That includes the tops and branches of larger pine and pole-sized pines. Unlike many of our other bark beetle pests that only have one generation per year, Ips have two to three generations per year, and multiple broods are possible per generation, increasing the possibility for an outbreak. The best way to prevent an Ips outbreak is by thinning the stand and disposing of slash in a timely manner. Because Ips often occur high up in a tree, it's hard to see the diagnostic features, such as the pitch tubes, which they don't always make, and they are very tiny. But if you see any signs of frass along the branches or sometimes along the smaller trees in the bark crevices, peel back the bark and you may find a gallery that's shaped like a tuning fork or a Y, sometimes an X. Red turpentine beetle is a type of bark beetle that attacks pine. It's secondary and sometimes it can inhabit the same pine trees as Ips, mountain, and western pine beetles. Because it's secondary, it often serves as an indicator that the tree is heavily stressed or already dying. Stressors include attacks by other bark beetles, drought, and fire. Here's an attack by red turpentine beetle. They tend to attack the base of pine trees, and pitch tubes are created that are creamy or granular in texture and pink or reddish in color, and they can be quite large. You might also see frass at the base of the tree. The frass resembles grape nuts. Thank you, and hope you enjoy Oregon's forests.